Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lee Van Dam here and uh, we got some news. We've got news. So I want to go over with you because I'm starting this off right. I'm catching the news just like we were doing in Brave X News. Super tight. So check this out. Let me move myself. So we've got new units coming through. We've got Shadow Links, the Ninja. We've got Frederica, the Lightning Gunner. And then we've got Shiva, and uh, it's awesome because if you get her card, you get the Esper too. Ooh. So let's uh, let's chat about that because we've got the information right here. And so uh, Frederica is an ultra rare. Let me turn this down a little bit. That seems a little loud. Frederica is an ultra rare uh, unit. Shadow Links mega rare, and uh, Shiva is ultra rare. Esper and uh, Frederica is really cool. She's lightning based. She's got the main job of gunner, sub job of ninja. So that's really good for long range and movement. I've learned that with Stern. So she's probably going to have like poison mist, which will help her get away. And um, she'll have shuriken and some other cool stuff. And then sub job of ranger. So that's also going to be good for ranged attacks as well. Her limit burst is butterfly sting. So she gets a cinematic. Um, limit burst and it's going to deal a ton of damage to a target and it lowers their CT gauge so that's very very strong considering you can keep them from acting especially if you build a real a team around that all right so arm shot deals a lot of damage and uh, it inflicts disable which is can't act for three turns so that's awesome too because you can not only deal damage but you keep someone out of the game with this attack so that's really strong shadow links shadow links people playing the story you've already seen her she's a really cool ninja that's roaming around main job is ninja sub job is dragoon and then sub job is also samurai so dragoon that's very cool she'll get jump and some movement options along with samurai which i haven't delved deep into samurai but i'm sure it's i'm sure it's very i'm sure it's a lot of fun now uh she's got dream within a dream which is a three hit attack so that means it'll chain on itself which is cool and so that'll help with the increase of damage and it has a high chance of critical hit so if you can do her at the end of like say a two chain you could probably produce a lot of damage with this and it's dark so she would pair well with stern so that's very nice shiva the freezer of all of course if you get the vision card you get shiva shiva along with it diamond dust it's magic is ice it deals the most ice damage possible and it lowers ice resistance for enemies along with raising attack and magic significantly for allies so awesome you definitely want to get a hold of that um, that is super duper crazy so we'll get to check them on the screen so i mean that is that is really great for an update i'm telling you and uh Things have been going well for me. As you see, I, I've got Stern. I've been working on him. And uh, he has been very strong. I just picked up Ninja. And so he's just running around, smacking people in the face with Shuriken. And it's been really effective. <laughs> really crazy. I even tried, um, as far as the uh, match battle, where you get to control uh, the everybody in the PvP fight. And it's a lot of fun. It's really, really good. So I definitely recommend you checking it out because I, I think it's amazing that you get to fight people in real time. So cool. So cool. But I've got, let's see. So I'm actually working on Thancred right now. And he's, he's very expensive, but he's really strong. And so I don't, I'm not going to necessarily pull on Frederica at the moment. I'm going to still be pulling on Thancred. I've got two. I've got two more pulls I can do right now for Thancred. So we're going to work that out and see if we can pull something. Now, I pulled on this, and this was really awesome. And so you're guaranteed. Um, ooh, you're guaranteed an ultra rare vision card. I think I might finish up the story and do this later, and we'll see what I get. But right now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna run two pulls on Thinkrit because I've already pulled a couple times, got some really good cards, and I've already got Thinkrit, so I'm just trying to get shards any way I can. 
to level them up because from what I understand, you want to give them get him to where you can limit break him to at least level 79. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. All right, Mia. Beguiling Witch. Now, this card is very cool because um, it, it decreases casting time, which is great. All right. Cool. There. All right. Flag of Horn. I need more of that, so that's good. That's good. Okay. I've been getting a lot of Balo. That's new. Okay, I'll have to check that out. That's very cool. So, get to summon a Marlboro. Murmur. Okay. Here we go. Can we get... Can we get it to change to a rainbow? Can, can we do it? No. But we get more of Queen Helena. So, that's pretty solid. Alright. So, we're going to summon again because I really like Thancred. Which is why I'm summoning for him. Uh, now, this is not a game where I'm going to be summoning all the time. But I really like Dinkrit. So, got to do it. And it was a white book. So, from what I understand, that's not great. That's not great chances. All right, here we go. More Marlboro. I like it. So, I can awaken it once. Okay. I need more cactus, so that's good. Okay. That's that's actually good. Okay. All right. So, no more Thancred, but I get to level everything up some more, and so I can't be mad at that. I'm going to have to farm some stories some more, and I'm going to have to do the, um, the as far as the mode where every, everybody teams up, which is the multi-quest with friends, because for everybody you meet at the beginning, you get a ton of Lapis, and... You know, they told me that with Thangrid you gotta be all or nothing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go all in there and we're gonna make it happen. And we're gonna level him up. He's doing pretty well so far. Um I still got a lot to go. I see I've got to get uh I just have to get more shards for him, man. It's just gotta get more shards. So I've been farming so that way I can turn in shards at the store and that'll at least get me to the second limit break. Cause I think, cause they, from what I understand, if I can get to limit break three, which is gonna effectively cost me 200 shards, I'll be pretty straight. Um, so I've got a week, we're gonna see what happens and uh, we're gonna see if we can make this happen. All right, so let me know if you're playing the game. Uh, if you like this, be sure to throw me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do it. We got some Tekken in the works as well, which is going to be really cool. We're going to dig deeper into Lee, why I play him, and different aspects of him that make him a lot of fun. And there goes Stern. Stern is cutting people up, and so I'm very excited. Very excited when he throws shurikens at people. <laughs> All right, so until next time, this is Lee Van Dam. You guys take care. God bless, and uh, I'll see you later.